she's like, hey, babe, I heard, like, what happened. She's like, just throwing this out there, like, Tyga's dropping an OnlyFans. He wants to put some girls on there. You oh. want to make a video with me? That's and, how it started? And I was Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> Same, but welcome to the show. Ladies, and, Ladies gentlemen. and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Pownall. We are co-hosted by the queen that everybody loves. Everyone's favorite on the show. Everyone loves you so much. Hi. Fitness Nala welcome co-hosting. Welcome, everybody. Right I'm so happy to yes. be here. She's been on the show twice now, twice three times now. now. Yeah, I just can't oh, get this away is from Ryan. Yeah, we love Nala. <laughs> oh. We love Nala. Once with her ex. <laughs> Too much fire. And then once you guys broke up, we did just you. We. And you explained why you broke you up. You did me just well. You well. fucked up. Oh, that's a good thing to do. You fucked yeah. up. Also co-hosting and kind of co-guesting, as if you will, the biggest, the king of porn, the biggest, <laughs> yeah, the, the goat, the biggest talent agency for a porn agency and all of pornography, the new school paving the way. He has a mansion. We we're at his party last night. Every fucking cool rocket legendary porn star was there. True. The owner and operator and founder and legend. Dave Rock of Motley Models. Uh, thank you. What an introduction, that by the way. Thank you. Dude, that was thank off you. the cuff right there? Yeah. Wow. Impressive. That's say, how I feel about you. I have to say he deserves that because that's how he introduces people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're good. Title. You're good. I saw you work in the room last night and you just. And that wasn't even him on, honestly. Like he's usually even like, you're you're even more like, I mean, so, he, he looks offended by that comment. No, I mean, I mean seriously, like he, he really goes through and like introduces everyone so everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. knows you, each you're, other and you're you know good what you're doing and where you're going. And, and then we're back in the LA studio. Yeah. Super Mike is here. Thanks okay. So and now our guest, our first guest back in LA, because this is where the show really took off in the studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's, and then we went to Toronto. It's not the same. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. That's but awesome. it, But back in Toronto, it's, you know, it, we kept it going, but mm -hmm. now it's, we're blasting up. So we wanted a big powerhouse guest to kick it off with. And who better? than the hottest girl in porn right now. The beautiful, the sweet. Wow. The former supermodel, still supermodel, but now mm. superstar porn star. Nice. I think the hottest girl <laughs> right now in porn. Oh, you think every girl in porn is My hot. first time on set <laughs> was at her porn How shoot not? two days ago. <laughs> true. Yeah. She's the modern day Marilyn Monroe. Oh, oh true, 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 true. <laughs> nice. true, 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 This is Kenzie Ann. Oh my God. Wow. Thank you. Ooh, Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> my job is in Jeopardy now. I know, <laughs> you have a competition with my yes. introduction now because yes. my Kenzie Ann introduction at Dave's house is, you well, know. Well, Kenzie, that's, <laughs> so you were a model and then one day you just said, you know what? Fuck this. Sex. <laughs> Yeah, sex. sex. That's sex. You're <laughs> sex like, and sex. Pics are cool. Sex is great. Sex is great. Yes. You know, I was I was modeling for a while, and in the mainstream industry, you kind of get into a lot of what's underneath, you know, dirty Hollywood. And I was like, I'd rather just get attention for actually sucking dick on camera. No, no, <laughs> seriously. Exactly. Ex Fucking seriously. good for you. And I got, I got attention for it, you know. And, yeah. Um, and you're and, great and, at <laughs> sucking dick. <laughs> Thanks. You did. A, you did. You you did talk about my dick sucking. Uh, skills on camera. And I described it homework. perfectly. Yeah. 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 And I use hands. I <laughs> I've had sex I'm with Kenzie Ann virtually in VR <laughs> porn. Oh, <laughs> apparently wow. multiple times. Yes. Oh, apparently wow. multiple well, times. I usually one and done Ryan's a video. Full experience. You know, you fuck a porn video, you fuck it, you chuck it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah. You can't go back and rewatch a porn video. No, That's kind of weird. Can't. But the gold glitter scene on Badoink with Kenzie Ann. Ann I run it back. You know, someone Her actually, day. someone Her got day. me a VR set just to watch it. So I've seen me suck oh. my own dick now. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fire. that. Did you book that gig, Dave Rock? I, of course. Yeah. Of course he did. Yes. I actually don't. I mean, some of my porn I watch, some I don't. But like, I've never watched an entire scene before. <laughs> and that was the scene I watched. Wow. It's yeah. a, it's. Probably the best one. Thank you. And then there's one more I, I like uh, of you, uh, another VR one, where it starts by the pool outside, and you might give them a, a massage or something like that, and then you go, go inside the house and have sex. Oh, God, it's a blur. See, I, I know it so better many, than you. I, I mean, yeah. honestly, yeah. It's, I As feel, a true especially fan. Especially the last year and a half, like, psh. I filmed so much. Yeah, she's a busy girl. You are a busy girl. I don't, I don't even remember anymore. How often are you know, shooting now? I was shooting, like, at... I was shooting like three times ish a week, sometimes four. That's crazy. Um, for like the last year and a half, I'm kind of putting, you know, I, I just wanted to get out there, throw it all out. Um, the beginning of my career. Um, Which I was, was what? March 2021. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, new. Roughly. I'm new. Mm. And you're blowing up quick. Thank you. <laughs> She's like the weekend Literally when he came out. Bang. 
Bang. One album dropped. No, seriously. <laughs> All the way to the moon. That's Kenzie Ann. You know, you. some girls, it's like, oh yeah, she's been doing it 15 it years. A long now time. it's her time. Thank yeah. you. She put the work yeah, in. Yeah. Kenzie Ann, one blowjob. <laughs> no, and I'm going glitter, glitter, glitter bit all day. Sometimes you just have to find your niche, and she found it immediately, yeah. and that's, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I knew I, I was going to, thank you. Yeah. I knew I was going to get into like some girl, girl stuff. And then I had, um, this is actually how I started. <laughs> I was camming. I got, I was like, yeah, let's just try some girl, girl stuff out. You know, I was trying to figure out where to go with that. And then, um, I had a boyfriend at the time who I ended up finding out was cheating on me. And Bastard. when my friend, I had, a, I know. And then I had a friend who found out her name, who, who's Kelly Kay. I'm sure you know Kelly Kay. Yeah, yeah. Kelly Kay hit me up and she's like, Hey babe, I heard like what happened. She's like, just throwing this out there. Like, Tyga's dropping an OnlyFans. He wants to put some girls on there. You oh. want to make a video with me? That's and, how it started? And I was like, no sure. Wait, your first video was with Tyga? Yeah. <gasps> and well, you, what'd you do with him? I, I mean, I had sex with him. I had sucked his dick. And Kelly no was with me. And we were the first what? girls on his OnlyFans. What and a launch. Only she didn't even tell me this. Wow. <laughs> she had a Drake feature on her first single. Oh. My little and music then, and then a company And then a company picked me up, contracted me, and then, yeah. yeah and then how did you get in touch with the GOAT? Um... How did we get in touch? So this girl, by the way, is is so unique in this business. And here's a couple of reasons why. Okay. You know, she was an awesome model in mainstream. She did Playboy. She was a Playboy playmate. She did Penthouse. She was a Penthouse pet. Uh, she got signed by one of the bigger studios in the industry we're not going to mention, uh, which is very rare, very rare to be signed, you know, without any adult scene shot yet, right? So she was signed with them. And uh, we we had we had met her through uh, some mutual friends, uh, heard her story, and then when you sit down with this girl and you see her in person, and a vibe, she's more she beautiful. is a vibe, yeah, very beautiful, oh yeah, very <laughs> more beautiful than the photos. I mean, like and her content's hot and fire, but she's like oh, she's a spokesmodel. Yeah. She speaks well, yeah. She carries herself she cracks well. Jokes, she's polished, classy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, oh, it's a vibe. Oh, I love it, you yeah. guys. Thank That's you. why. Keep going, keep going. I will say, I was very upset on Monday. Because I was, and I'm doing something with bang.com where I go to the porn scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do comedy behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> and honestly, I'm loving it. I did Gianna Dior today. It was great. Okay. Yeah. Ryan cracking jokes. It was a threesome with Kenzie Ann and Kenzie Taylor. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. And my boy, Mick Blue. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's your boy, by the way? I like Mick Blue. Okay. He likes his dick a lot. <laughs> Ryan or Mick likes his dick? No, Ryan no, likes Mick's but... dick. He would not stop talking well, about I, it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. amazed by the button. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I do not. Look at the detail there, to be honest. Do you know what I'm talking about? The button? No, I have no idea. Kenzie Ann, would you like to tell Dave Rock what I'm talking about? You know, does he have the button? I forget. This, I, go ahead anyway. I forget about it. Does he have the, the, what is, what's his button? I've only, I mean, I've had sex he, with him multiple he times. Has, he has the button. Oh, he has got the button. Okay. What's the button? So, okay. You know what the button is, It no? basically. Oh, you're just going to blow your mind. It basically means yeah. his, he's, his, he, it, it helps him get hard, right? Yeah, so yeah. It, you oh, go, button. Yeah. yeah. Button. Yeah. I actually, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this like, uh, what? This so, is like, so activate your dick. I yeah. actually, I actually yeah. heard all about it. It's like, beep, boop. It, it, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so guys in the industry. You know, it's like that game when you just like put a coin in and it just goes, boo, and you punch it. Yeah, that's yeah that's pretty much. Know. Pretty much. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically. The tubes. There's tubes that, and you press a button and it blows air into the tubes, which helps him uh, get hard. Oh. If I saw a button on someone, I would just yeah. and keep pushing button, it the buttons in the balls. <laughs> well, Does it explode? Men are honestly, their bodies are so abused in this industry. And to have, I mean, it's a lot of pressure on women, but there's a lot of pressure yeah, on men. Right. And to have you're a dick right. at the right time, to oh. come at the right mm -hmm. time, not the wrong time, or come at all. It's insane. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of power. I agree. Like dedication. Don't dedication. come, don't come, don't come, come. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Crazy. And then, you know, these guys are used to it being in front of people, but some guys, when they're new, they're like, oh my God, there's all these people watching me. Yeah. I, can't, so, I can't even get hard in my own room with this. Right? Right? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> totally. Yeah, exactly. I do feel for them, of course. Yeah, no, they, they, they have a different situation than women almost oh, entirely, really I'd say, do. you know? Because, I mean, it's That's for, such a topic for women. too, isn't it? Like, yeah. how women can just keep going and going and yeah. men. It, it depends, you know, and then sometimes you just really have to take something. Yeah. And especially for porn girls. When you're doing porn, you expect a nice dick. You just, it's yeah. like, you can't have something that just goes like that. Oh, God. And it sucks. You know. It you're sucks like, oh. when someone gets soft in a scene or something. Yeah, what happens like, when that happens? Um, when, when they're half hard. Shame. <laughs> and, and I bet it happens with you, Kenzie, because contrary to popular belief, 
Guys get less hard for hot girls because they're I've nervous. Had, so a lot a, of men. A, so true. A two. I'm fucking. You know a lot about this stuff. You must do a lot of research. Yeah. He did a lot of research on he me. Does. Actually, I, when I, he I'm a porn yeah. encyclopedia. So yeah. I had <laughs> met. So a lot of such a good name. I like. That's what Bang said because I've been oh, nailing yeah. my points. Yeah, you know, you're good. I said Kenzie Taylor sucks dick like this. Kenzie sucks dick like that. Also, also, Ryan watches so much fucking porn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Big fan. Continue. Um, Big fan of your work, Dave. So a lot of guys, almost all of them, if you have something to rely on, like Viagra or what, whatever they're using, you know. Um, and I have had guys do, oh, I'm new and exciting, and they haven't fucked me, so they won't take whatever they're taking to get their mm -hmm. dick hard. Which at this point is ritualistic for their performance. We all have our rituals as performers. They decide to not do it, and then they actually perform poorly for me, and it sucks. Because they, because you make them <laughs> nervous because they're so hot. Well, I don't, I mean, you know, whatever it is, it's just that they're not doing their thing, you yeah. know? Before every scene I've ever shot, I go in the bathroom and I give myself three orgasms. <laughs> what? I did not yeah. know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's Wait, 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 let's, 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 let's talk I about have to self, that. I, I self-lubricate in the sense that 30 minutes is a scene, right? Yeah. I don't come in 50, I come in like 15 minutes maybe, right? Right. And I don't want to wait that amount of time in filming. And I love, I would say 90% of my orgasms on, on film are real. So Wonderful. wow, that is good to know, <laughs> and that's a true statistic. Yeah, because okay. I'd say the other ones that aren't real are ones where directors are like, "Okay, this is the the part where we want you to come," and I'm like, "Fucking, I, I hate when you tell me when to come." Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how how does one make Kenzian come? Um, I feel like it's all up here for me. I'm like, just let me rub my clit and, you know. So I, penetration with the clit rub. Yeah, DJ yeah, Diddles. Yeah, yeah. yeah, DJ. I'm DJing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DJing the whole time. Because you know what? I used to be a big um, clit guy. Yeah. But I've trans completely transferred my game to make your girl come. I'm just fully fingers in doing yeah. the Spider-Man up and down. See, and that's <laughs> lovely, but like when you shoot a lot of porn, getting I love I love being finger banged. Finger so, so nice. But when you are filming porn, you can't get fingered all the time. It hurts. Fair. Are you a squirter? Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. You are a squirter, right? <laughs> yeah. And do you fake your squirts? Because I know that's popular. No, I have no idea how to fake okay, a squirt. Okay, is a squirt piss or no? I don't know because... Everyone whatever, says this. Okay, oh. I, I feel like it is because... I feel like it is, but I will say I, I'm not like I've I, seen I've seen girls squirt and they just like pee and I call it a rain, it. A rain, it's like pss, I'm it, like Jesus, but the, yeah. for me I'm like for me it's like a like someone like like spit. It's like a little, that's a real squirt, you know. I'm, but I'm, the yeah. ones that do a two liter gallon yeah, of milk, I'm like oh that's piss, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fakers. So and I drank that stuff and I <gasps> put it, spit it right back in another girl in her mouth because I was like fuck. You want to piss on? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. You want to piss in my mouth? You can piss in my mouth. Good for you. I love so that. So the squirting, when did that happen for you first? Did that happen on set? You have no. Your personal life? It was a personal life thing. So I was, um, it was funny because I was fucking a porn star and he wanted to make me squirt. He was like the king of making me squirt. You were weird. fucking a porn star off set. Yeah, it was like, it was like my first little porn star thing, right? Mm. And he was so bummed. What was his name? <laughs> we're going to leave him anonymous. No! <laughs> was it my boy Mickey? No, <laughs> but anyways, so he's so bummed he can't make me squirt. <laughs> I fucked another dude. He wasn't a porn guy. He was a fitness trainer. He had good. these long finger They're fingers, good. really long fingers. Mm. And then like he was fingering me on my couch and all, and like I just started squirting and I was just Ooh. like, oh, oh my God. I hadn't done that since I was like a teenager. And the reason I stopped doing it was because when I was a teenager, I would like soak my boyfriend's bed and he's like, can we stop mm. with this? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, I was squirt shamed. Whore. I was squirt shamed. If a man <laughs> ever fucking says that to you, just slap that. Do you squirt, Nala? I've never fucking squirted. Mm. I don't know how. As a friend? Yeah. Can I try my try my it? move on you? You want to do it right <laughs> now? We don't even have to kiss. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's fine. Friends are friends. I love, okay, okay. I, I would this love weekend. for we'll you do this to do this. Okay. Come over? Yeah. Okay. This weekend. Pizza after. <laughs> yeah. As friends. As, just as friends. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like you like that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, would you say now you have more bodies, which means some. Uh, oh, God. On or off camera? On camera, for sure. I got into porn. Fuck, I've, I've had sex with four people before porn. Get the fuck out of at here. 20, at 27 years lying. old. That's bullshit. No, it's not bullshit. I, when did you lose your virginity? I say nay, nay. I was, it was right before my 18th birthday. I had sex with four people. I was 27. Okay. Okay. Four people. Mm -hmm. wow. You know your worth. You do. I honestly, I held off because I didn't like any of the boys in high school. Honestly, I think <laughs> your niche too is very classy. Thank you. And I think that guys feel the exclusivity. Mm. I, honestly, I'm getting that vibe from you. you. You're classy. You care Thanks. about like your appearance and yeah. not just being beautiful. It's how you carry yourself. When you yeah. walked up to me, I was yeah. like, 
God damn. God she's damn. intimidating. No, she's yeah. just like walk. You are just <laughs> strutting towards me. I'm like, come here, baby. Come to daddy. Thank you, Nala. I'll add a little to that. As far as background for her, you know, she comes from um, a, a great city outside of Los Angeles. Mm. She has a great family. <laughs> she was a high achiever in high school. She was an athlete. So what did you do? Yeah. What did you, what did you do? He really wants to talk about sports. I right? want to talk about sports. Yes. <laughs> what did you do? Um, I would have loved to have been a, a dancer so bad. My parents were actually like both dancers, stripper? and they didn't Just, want me to dance. Oh, so I played softball and basketball. Did you grow up rich? What a cool girl! I grew up with two blue. You look like workers. you grew up rich. I, I wish okay. I did, but I I'm one of five kids. I'm from the suburbs. My parents had they made ends. Meet perfectly. We're a lot of children. I wore hand me down clothing. Um, I shared a bedroom. Okay. And I'm getting like shit you were lower class. middle class. It, it was yeah, it, yeah, lower middle class. Okay. You know, my Same. parents. As I got Same. older, my parents became more successful, and of course, now their nest is empty, so they have yeah. money to not spend on like shoes that are changing sizes every year. Oh, you know? you're so right. Okay, and yeah. the question that I never ask the guests and other podcasts do, and shame on you, is I'm not asking <laughs> what do your parents think, but. How is your relationship with your parents? Because you joined so late mm -hmm. and you grew up with five siblings, yeah. four siblings. No way. So yeah. what, so, Me too. So, really? Where are you in the birth line? Uh, fourth. I'm the middle. Oh. So what's the vibe with the That's fam, so Jam? Cute. I love my family. And they're cool with it. Yeah. Aww. Good. They yeah. should be. They have yeah. nothing yeah. to say about it. I've, I uh, you know, I've never had to go back home. I've never had to ask my parents for money. I've yeah. helped my parents. I've no, helped it's the my best. family. I'm, Isn't that it's, just like relieving? You're yeah. like, wow, they gave to you and now you give yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's great. It feels good. It feels I, great, yeah. I love that I get to just like... Um, there's no part of any nook in any category in my life that I have to be a different person. Good, exactly. And that's why I like doing this and that's working really with neat. porn yeah. stars. Absolutely. Nicest, greatest people on the fucking planet. They're so open. Nothing to hide. They don't yeah. clout chase and yeah. fake this and that. No. Nope. The, the they, they leave it all out on the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> and the squirt. And the squirt. Hey. Yeah, and, and squirt. Hey. Yeah. I had to fake a squirt one time and I literally had to like shove shit in there and then just push it out as hard as I could. Oh, so you used like one of those, I, I've heard like <laughs> you kind of like had to lay back, oh, push it my in gosh. there and then like squirt. Did you think you were going to shit? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so funny. So I've heard That's exactly one of my friends like. in porn was like, she's like, uh, when I was prepping for my first, yeah. I did one anal. Uh, when I was prepping for it, she's like, the first time I ever shit on set wasn't doing anal. It was just squirting. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, because you're. Wait, you were trying so hard to squirt that you poop? No. I didn't. Like my friend same, did. But it's very. It's very what was her name? We like to name names. Oh, I don't want it. That's not my story. Names are good for clicks. Ryan. We like clicks. Okay, we'll transition. Okay. You're seeing a rock star now. I digress. Kenzie Ann. Oh, God. We're, 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 no one's seeing anyone. Okay. <laughs> but you're having sexual intercourse with one. Sure. How's that going? Good. Do you like the rock star life? It's. I mean, I. It's not much different than my life. I. It, she's the rock star. Yeah, you're the fucking rock star. Hundred yeah. percent. Is he allowed to sleep with other girls? Yeah, we're not exclusive right now. Yeah. But if you were, together. Okay, I, I'll say this right now. Like. As far as dating goes, it's I, I've it's never been in my mindset to go find a boyfriend. I would love to have a monogamous relationship one day in my life, but I just don't see it happening right now. And well, you're gonna no. go yeah. me and you if you fuck someone else, I'll kill you. Well, no. Okay. You so, know, but I mean, have want, some what? respect for me and leave me if you're gonna go fuck someone. Yeah. Okay. You know, like don't cheat on me. It's just just say, say goodbye. And How then, do you feel about this? Okay, you're married and you're in love, mm -hmm. and your husband says, mm, Kenzie Ann, I really want to fuck that girl. Would you bring her in for a threesome to get rid of that urge? Um, I think that the important thing about a relationship is communication and um, what you have to map through in your future is about what's comfortable. And like, wow. maybe I'm like, yeah. yeah, actually that girl's cool. And he's like, no, but that one. And I'm like, no, not that one. She's you know? been prepped. Her PR yeah. team prepped her for Ellen. Oh, I don't <laughs> She's ready to go. Absolutely. She is no, I mean, I mean yeah. seriously, it's, 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 a, it's a navigation. There's no like, absolutely yes, absolutely no. Like, it's so gray. Wow, I want to date Kenzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. perfect. I'll, I'll, yeah. co I'll come in on your relationship. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kaylee, I really want to fuck Kenzie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll add a couple things from an agent perspective, right? Yeah. About Kinsey Ann and her family, you know, um, you know, a lot of parents get, in, their, their daughters get in this business and they're afraid for their daughter's safety. Yes. They think that they're being, you know, drugged and Abused. this and that, yeah. right? So yeah. she has great communication with her parents. She's a class act. She, you know, she came with the Molly agency. 
you know, she runs her career like a professional businesswoman, right? So, you know, even sometimes the parents don't love what their daughters do doing, at least they're doing it in a way they can be proud of. 100%. Right. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Eases in. So, and then on the, on the relationship side, oh, yeah. can we comment on that? Yeah, of course. Oh, on my, on yeah. you. Yeah, you can make a comment yeah. on it. Yeah. So on, on the relationship side, these girls, you know, they... They're, they are rock stars in their life. Yes. They have massive yeah. followings. Yeah. They, they accumulate fan bases that DM them all the time. I'm of sure not you get it as well. Yeah. Right. So you can't an, run from it. <laughs> as an agent, yeah. I try to preach to these girls to be a prude in their personal life. Yeah. Right? Because the attention they get is usually not genuine, right? These guys just want to hit it and get out. Yes. Right? So true. And true. These, and, these, and these girls are just like, they're just prey pretty much, right? Yeah. So yeah. I would tell these guys to be prude in their personal life i like this I because save that energy for your scenes and your, while they're working in this business absolutely crush your scenes and plus when they start going outside of the talent pool that's then I mean. they risk potentially getting stds mm -hmm. that's rest, true right and, mm -hmm. or getting sore, that is true sore, sore, right i mean if a girl has a scene the next day at eight o'clock in the morning and some rock stars in her dms at 11 p.m oh. right they're gonna no, rush over there right? no it's true yeah. and then they're tired they're worn out they don't do a great scene yeah because you know what most girls i have on the show 99 percent, i say which celebrities have you slept with and they go yeah. i don't fuck don't care about celebrities fuck no. them. Yeah. No. i'm like good for you girls yeah. Yeah. good for you but only fans girls non-mainstream are all, oh, look, Diplo texted me. You know, yeah. they haven't been properly trained yeah. by Mr. Rock. Right. So what does like a day in your life look like? Run us through something like that. Oh, a day in my life. I mean, depending on, huh, I don't know. It's a, it's different every day. Of course it is. Like, what is your normal, like, if you have like some kind of a schedule, which you seem like you do, kind of. I so don't. That, no? I, it's so okay. funny. I'm well, real, I'm actually, I got a vibe that was like kind of more of like a, Oh, do you like go to the gym regularly? Oh, yeah, do you yeah. like to I, cook for yourself? No, I hate or? cooking. I never okay. cook. Okay. I she never buys cook. herself uh, supercars. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's That's right. shit. I go shopping for cars when I, when I go to cool. my air, get my air pressure like changed. And Are you lo you're loaded now? You're I, making that I'm dough? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. OF money crushing yeah. too? Yeah, absolutely. What are you I'm doing not, on OF? Are you doing boy girl? Well, I do. I try to make sure I give them something I can maintain. So I'll do some, I'll like stock up on some, some content trades. And then I'm like, you're mostly going to get just me. And a lot of them just want that anyways. So it works out. Okay. Yeah, that's really um, nice. Right. Cause like, like the exclusivity gonna, of it is like girlfriend experience. Totally. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to expect a boy girl every week, you're not going to get you're it out of me. You're not going to get it. It's it, well it, with me. Yeah. Because oh, you know I'm something, only on OnlyFans. you know something I would like to talk about huh. with the two of you in particular, actually, sure. is a lot of OnlyFans girls. Mm -hmm. I tell them that the do boy girl, you're crushing, you're a different game. Okay. You're good. <laughs> but they say, you know, I'm making 10 K a month and I'm doing porn. I don't understand. It's not blowing up. I say, Oh, go mainstream and it'll pump up your OnlyFans numbers. And they say, no, if it's free on Pornhub, no one's going to buy my, yeah. And I say, you don't get it. It's a billboard and they want more and they want your exclusive, what you're posting like, in your room you that you created. Used. Yeah. Exactly. People want to see more of you. Yeah. Exactly. They'll go find yeah. you. Leaked, mm -hmm. leaked nudes blows people up to My pay for more shit. I have so much shit leaked on Reddit. Yeah. And it makes you more you money. It. And I'm like, Leave don't take it. it down. Yeah. They want to see Leave more right? of it. Mainstream exactly. is the billboard. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. I even had, I remember when yeah. I was a cam girl and I first started, I found a really good leaked video of me camming and I screen recorded it and I sold it to my only fans. I love you. <laughs> there you go. That's you. I was That's like, the I, was like I would have never screen recorded this, but someone did and That's I'm going to just gonna sell it back yeah. to them. cam for? I cammed for like a year before I got into porn. Thank you, yeah. Nadine, you know or what? whatever. I cammed, I cammed like this for about eight months because I was trying to go to nursing school. And Your I poor eyes. Gonna I show. love you. Those They're beautiful so eyes. Cute. And then I, and then I, I started making good money, and I was like, you know, what? I, I may as well show my face. This is stupid. What am I doing? Yeah. And how okay. how crazy are we going on cam back then? Oh my god, I would cam like five days a week. And we go in we go in dildo. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would I would cam so much though. I was I had no I had no sex in my personal life. I was like just before camming. my VR obsession. I was obsessed with chatterbait. Okay, yeah, that's <gasps> well, fine. <laughs> you know, <Fine>. like <laughs> tip tip tip. Make her come. Yeah. Pink lush. Z -z -z. Oh, I love the lush oh. guys. Does I it work? Love... Does it actually work? Okay. <laughs> it's fake, right? No, no, no. It's there's. Both. Okay. Um, I would keep mine in. I put tuck it my panties. You don't want to have this weighted thing sitting in your pussy the whole time. No. And then when they when they wait, click, wait, wait, you would take it out and pretend it's in. Yeah, I was sitting like right on my panties. 
Oh. Like it was like a little ball sack on me. And then they I've would- I've been they'd, robbed. And then they'd, they'd, <laughs> they'd tip you and it buzzes you. So every time they tip me, I'd be like, ah. And then, and then I would make them tip more. So I would just keep, and I would like almost fully have like orgasms in yeah. front of them. That's amazing. And they would just be tipping for to literally Can nothing. Can you do that sound again? Do it. I was going to say the same thing. We'll play around. You know what? We haven't done this on the show and it's something that Howard Stern used to do with his uh, guests. I go. love Howard. A lot of people call me the new Howard, you know. <laughs> oh, I see that. I see that, nice. bitch. He gets them to do uh, their orgasm sound on oh, the God. show. Oh, God. Well, mine's more like. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, wow. That was great. I'm like blood. Dave Rock, I'm let's, let's, let's go, Dave blood. Rock. Let's go, Dave Rock. I'm not going to do that, but I will add to your OnlyFans question. <laughs> okay. Yes. So uh, as an agency, we're seeing a lot of applications of girls who have kick-ass OnlyFans already. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And they're making fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars a month in that range, right? And they want more exposure, so they're coming to the mainstream business, yeah, mm -hmm. to shoot for browsers, to shoot for the big companies, yeah, and to get that exposure. So hundred percent, right, yeah, it's there. That's Thank why, you. That's why this industry is so do porn. Yeah, do fucking yeah. porn. I'm telling you, I quit. Listen to the my goats job to yeah. do this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the happiest fucker. Yeah, oh, I know. If I, I feel it, like I was born to do yeah. this. Born to do porn. I born to do porn. Born to God. <laughs> what Kinsey didn't say about her dailies is what she does every day. She yeah. can do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Hey, God, right? there is. True that. And that's what yeah. I mean. That's the thing. Like, I'm a night owl. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm that's home cool. or out. I'm a night owl. Yeah. And so I, I'm someone who sleeps in. And and then I'm like a creator and you at have nighttime, the flexibility too. flexibility to do that because yeah. you do fucking porn. porn. Yeah. I'm like, that should be illegal for me to get out of bed or out of my house before. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Illegal. Okay, now let's get into the freaky deaky stories and stuff. Okay, yeah. okay. So, you know, worst thing that's happened on set, most embarrassing, anything you got like that. Yep. Okay, mm. worst thing that's happened on set, most embarrassing. Give us something crazy. I, I feel like I'm not a very embarrassed person. No, you're not. I, like, I'm the type of person, like, I'm a, I'm a gassy person. Like, I'll, like, be like, hey, we're doing this. I'm going to go in the corner and, like, take care of my business and come back. You know what I mean? Like, that's who I am on set. Right. Because it's, you, I'm not going to, if I'm having sex and I'm going to fart, I'm not going to fart on you. No, I saw that Stalking on Monday. You were just saying everything. Yeah, I say and everything. everything. Yes. I'm, I'm comfortable. More than um, me. And I thought I was fucked so up. So I wouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say I have that many embarrassing things. But you must have pooped on a guy or he no, did this. Or... I've only done anal once on, uh, in porn and I didn't. I had, I had this, I had food poisoning a week before I was flown to Turks and Caicos for my anal scene. And I was going to get, um, What's it called? Why can't I think of it? What you when you clean your asshole? A, um, a douchebag. No, not oh, not a douche. No, like the system. Anima. Non anima. It's like a flushing. It's thing. a flushing. You thing. like flush it with more water or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it feels yeah, like yeah. your whole body. You do it like t yes. twenty times. Um, I was going to do one of those, yeah. and it really instead, up up there and pulls it down. yeah, it does. It cleans you out. But instead, I had I had food poisoning, so I went to Turks and Caicos with nothing in my bottom. Got my ass fucked at sunrise um, in a, on a beautiful, beautiful Aww. location, and there was no That's shit. Nice. And then? And then? What? Something crazy happened? No, nothing crazy. Oh, it was just a lovely You were asking scene. if I ever shit on set. I said I never did. I, yeah, I never had. I Like... I don't mean to sound like a total princess, but I have had a really good experience in porn. <laughs> I have had this is great. I, like that, I have though. had some like bad things happen where like like things I was grossed out on that I didn't realize I'd be grossed out on. Like what are you grossed people out on? like putting things in like other people doing anal, but me not. People putting things that aren't dicks in their ass and then taking them out, like like what? contents of food, like gummy bears or fake milk I that that was something that I was like I will never want to touch so, like no we don't okay. put food around our assholes no. so what's the weirdest we thing you've done on screen off screen whatever I think I told you about the pop rocks in the ass yes. I did that was before that was before briefly though yeah. I didn't give us the whole story yeah yeah um, tell us about the pop rocks that well, sounds amazing it, okay but I didn't feel it but I did it to um, a guy and we put pop rocks on each other's asshole and it it like tingled it's supposed to tingle your ass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He felt it. I didn't. Okay. I didn't felt it. I yeah, and then I you didn't. ate the pop rocks out of his ass. Yeah, he had a he had a really nice ass. I, I said I, I said I, I don't like eating ass. I'm not a big ass eater. But when there's pop rocks, <laughs> give me a spoon. <laughs> no, 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 no. But clean, yeah, I'm, I'm picky about my assholes for sure. They gotta be shaved. Yeah, and like they do. I'm not looking nice. hair, bitch. No. 
Mm-mm. Fuck we no. don't like that. And the guy, the, the guy's got to be spreading his cheeks when he's exactly. You know? Actually, I love the whole like it's so dominant to spread a man's cheeks. You, oh, you, but you I mean, guys, oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah. standing up sixty nine, like rip that thing <laughs> open like. Really? Um, you eat guys' asses all the time because the time. I feel like I, either, <laughs> I feel like I either, no 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 listen <laughs> yesterday uh, I feel like I literally introduce guys to it. All the time. I'm yeah. like, so I'll just take it really slow, look from the balls all the way to that little that little landing strip uh-huh. and then all the way up to the asshole. Wow. And they just love it. It's like they one full it. lick. And they're like, oh. And I'm just like, I'll like feel wow. them out for a second and just keep going. Yeah. It's like nice and slow. But it's so like, I make it feel like this is what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Wow. I love it. This is how it stimulates yeah. them in a very nice way. <laughs> I love that. What about, what about like, are, you, are they coming from a jacuzzi, in a shower? Is I'm not even a big like, jacuzzi person. I don't like that. I don't like going feeling like that. Going down there. Going like, down there. Long work day. It doesn't matter <laughs> on what surface. Wow. I'm just like, Obviously, like, I want it to be clean. Of course. Yeah. But you're not But checking. I'm not, you're not afraid at all. Dude, you are a beast. You Fair are. Man. I'm Tarzan. Savage. You're Tarzan. Jungle, man. Let's She's go. crazy. Yeah, she is. I'm Jesus. nuts. And her, her like, tapes are, are really, really good and well done. Thank you so much. I'm a cosplayer. I do cosplay porn. Yeah. I see that. Okay. Thank you're you so very, much. you've got, like, you're very animated and, and expressive. You look so gorgeous. Oh, oh thank you. I didn't know you was awesome. Yeah, can you guys collab? I would love to direct it. Hearing her, like, orgasm scream was like, hey, you want to give us your? They call it giggle gasms. Yeah. Yeah. No, it sounds like a, just a very youthful like. Let's hear your orgasm, Nala. Um, okay, wow. Oh yeah. wow. I feel like I have so many different ones. I'll there go are, first there if are you want. Like cosplays. Yeah. It's different. Okay. When I'm doing like a more of like an anime cosplay, I'd say like oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh that's so cute. Oh, Adorable. So cute. You're a little angel. <laughs> Or I'm like, yes, 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 daddy. Oh my god. Oh, I love yes, yes, Stop yes, it. Yes. We're just friends. <laughs> Hola, puppy. Oh, that was oh lovely. Oh my goodness. She really goes She's full character. Anime. I love characters. Yeah. She is an actress. That was the best. Like little French oh maid. Gotta get into like the middle. I say, oh fuck, about 17 times. And oh, then fuck, 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 fuck. That's my go to. So many guys. Like, this is the weirdest <laughs> oh, one. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. This guy, I swear to god, he just jerks off way too much. And you can tell because. When he's fucking, he has to like stop breathing. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, listen, okay. He like won't breathe and won't make a fucking noise. Oh, and then no, just be like, his, his face turned bright red. You know, <laughs> g- guys often are it's, they're too shy to moan with a girl, right in bed. Yeah, I don't know. And they're why. quiet. We love it. Girls love like it, it right? Girls I always love express my, how yeah. much we like it. Yeah. I'm like, it doesn't have a bad stigma. So no. I'm like. I don't know where the bad it's stigma okay. comes from. I think guys are kind of in a in a place in the world still where they feel mm-hmm. like we're so sexualized consistently and like yeah. men really aren't. So you guys aren't used to like feeling like what's masculine and sexy. I you was know? scared my whole life, but yeah. I, I started doing uh-huh. it. Your whole life? Yeah. My whole life. <laughs> I never, I didn't say it to you. No, sex, no, Ryan. No, no, it's it's just, like, just quiet, huh? <laughs> I see this. I see this. Ryan is such a happy boy. Like he's so happy. (laughs) And she looks back at me. I'm like, hi. Wait. (laughs) So you'd be great for VR then, because in VR, (laughs) you have to shut the fuck up. Hundred (laughs) percent. I also I feel so bad for the guys. It's like they have to come and just be so dead silent. Yeah, imagine that. Mm -hmm. An yeah. hour scene too. Sometimes it takes longer to shoot them, right? Yeah, because setup. It's all, VRs. VRs are the really hard days. For I sure. hope I get to wow. do that. Oh no, Bang doesn't do it. Can I come to your next VR set? Maybe. Um, I don't know if I'll be shooting too much VR. You're over it. I mean, it's just I have a kind of a list of things I'm going to be doing and not doing at this point. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more labor intensive time. You know, yeah. a little longer to shoot stuff like that. What are you focusing mainly on right now? Um, things that are going and you. to put me in a category of um uh, what awards am I winning okay. this year yeah wow so i want to i want to put myself in like you know get get good features good acting roles good you know scripts movies things that are kind of built around not That's kind right. of things she's, that are totally she's starting, built around you got a big Z. role coming up right I can't talk about it right Ooh. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. We're going yeah. into mainstream acting. I love oh, that. Oh well, my god! I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. D- didn't aren't you going into acting? Also? I mean, I would love to. That's what you said. You yeah. want to transition to eventually. Yeah. Yes. 
Don't don't pop the gun on. Don't shoot the gun already. I haven't even. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come on. Of course, that's the goal. That's she's every... gonna get Scarface too. Her first movie. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's how she rolls. It, you know, everyone in porn's goal. Is she's like, to I'm a model. Transition. They're like, well, yeah. here's the cover of Vogue, and she's like, I'm a porn star. She's like, yeah. here's Performer of the Year. Period. Now she's an actress. Bang. Titanic oh. too. Yes. <laughs> Titanic, Titanic too. Yeah. Yes. That's how Kenzie yeah. Ann rolls, baby. She's still building. She you know her first year in this business. She won Best New uh, Performer for edX Biz. Wow. Which is a huge honor. Yeah. So, Thank like, you. Yeah. She did it with, like six months in the business. Which I had three is films out actually. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> three <laughs> films out and you won. Such a hard worker, yeah. bro. Fuck yeah. <laughs> She's like one of those girls that you know when you meet her Winners and you're win. around her like she just exudes hotness. Winners win. Oh yes. Yeah, like she, she exudes a lot of dude. hotness. <laughs> yeah. Steam it off so Dave right now. Four, <laughs> four <laughs> modeling models. Yeah. Uh, what Direction are you focused on right now for putting your girls? In? Love to talk about that. I also want to go back to the bank set with you and get your feedback on that if we can after this. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, as an agency, we kind of differ ourselves, we're different uh, from ourselves from the other agencies because we do go after the mainstream opportunities. So all the other agencies in this business, they only focus on the porn, porn, part. porn, porn, yeah, porn. Do booking, a gang porn, bang, booking, do porn, booking. Booking. Right. There's no promotion. Like, yeah. For example, the last night the party that we we had for the Halloween party. Very good vibe of different people from all different yeah. types of entertainment. We had music people there, people yeah. that have records, people who were, on, who were touring. We had influencers like yourself there. We had AVN was there. Content X, AVN, X Biz. Yeah. Um, Doc Johnson, which is a huge toy brand. We had Rose and Good Faith clothing brand there. So, mm -hmm. as an agency, we're constantly working to push these guys into other opportunities outside of just shooting a blowjob scene or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or, or yes. scene, yeah. or an IR scene or whatever. Motley Models, baby. Right? I know. Fuck yeah, that's these insane These girls, shit. They, do, they do go through a lot by getting in this business, right? They, yeah. they sacrifice a lot. They, their families yeah. take a hit a little mm -hmm. bit, right? So. So because they're sacrificing so much, if they don't have the right guidance to really maximize the opportunities That's that are true. in front of them, yeah. they're leaving money on the table, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we're out there hustling to create these opportunities for them to put Kinsey Ann on billboards potentially, but put her in mainstream opportunities. Yes. We've already done it. We have a track record doing it for other talent. That's right? incredible. She's just newer on, on, in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the process, right? But she's got all the skills to be you know, on E! Channel hosting a fucking show, right? She's yeah. that yeah. talented, exactly. right? So doing this, doing the opportunities where she can showcase that stuff. Um, we love it. We love bringing these opportunities. And I'll tell you what, at your party last night, because people, look, you know, they have this stigma about porn. Yeah. It was a classy party. There was no drugs. No, I mean, there was, yeah, it's weed, whatever. It's, it's legal. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. you would you would think, I thought, oh, porn party is going to be fucking banana sandwich. Yeah. Ridiculous. I thought yeah. drugs, sex, alcohol, all over the place. Yeah. It was just... Hi, good to see you. Let's take a photograph together. Yeah. Yeah. It was very it was nice and classy. Classier yeah. party I've been to all week. Thank yeah. you. Yours was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you made up with every girl there. <laughs> yeah. It was classy. It was Actually, great. I only had weeks it time. was great, but I'm just saying Motley yeah. Models is, I is running a... I would come, though. I really do. You know, he's, he's changing the, the way parties, porn yeah. is, is perceived and even was. The idea behind that, thank you for recognizing that. The idea behind that is if we're going to blend into the mainstream environment, if we're going to have Netflix compliance, you know, look at our, our what we do here. We want them to make sure that their, their, their uh, legal department signs off on working with us, right? We can't have shenanigans going on. Exactly. Right? No shenanigans. So when Kinsey comes out, when the other models comes out, she looks amazing. She works the room. She has conversations. She yeah. meets great people. That's what it's all about. Right? That's, That's it. what it's all about. Relationships. I've never asked any of these girls to do anything unprofessional to get their work, get their jobs. Wow. They just need to, you know, show showcase what they can do, like she's doing right now. And doors open up for these girls. I love it. Right. You know, there's no real need for like hardcore compromise. Right. It's like. You know, there's not, if you're in the porn industry, you're in the porn industry. You already yeah. know what you're working yeah. with. Exactly. But you don't need to sacrifice like a lot yeah. to like get there. You True. know, and work you're, hard. And you're great at that. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work hard, play hard. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's it. One of the things I've been pushing is, you know, these girls are often called porn stars, right? And porn stars is a very old term and actually doesn't yeah. even fit these guys, these girls today. You know, these girls are called adult influencers, right? I because love that. True that. Right? Yeah. Because we they literally do have influence, a lot of influence orgasms. I know. Yeah. We do. That's that it. Too. But they do have a lot of power to take their fan base and direct it towards a site for the scene, a product, right? A brand. Exactly. So they do have a lot of influence as well. And I, I think they're that. way more than just porn stars. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Do you find that it's hard to work with certain girls? 
And when it is, what do you do? I, good question, Nala. I think Thanks, I have <laughs> a really good ability to like get along with. I'm a girl's girl. You seem like I'm it. I'm a girl's girl. But I'm, not every I'm, girl is a girl's girl. She's also a lesbian. <laughs> I also like girls. Yeah. Okay. So, so it makes bond. it it makes it e- a lot easier. Okay. I have had some sets where girls have been more shy. Okay. But like I've been, I used to be a hairdresser too. I like. You're I just such a people person. Yeah. I'm such a people Period. person. Like it doesn't. Mm. I give off the. I think I ought to often exude that someone like I, that someone wants to be my best friend. And I'm like, okay, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I I'm just friendly and I like people. You know. I understand. Um. So no, not really. I mean, I've like I've had some sets where I've been like, oh my god, that was exhausting. Like. I had to carry, like, all of the energy into that because that girl that was sucks. giving me nothing. You but, know? hey, that looks good on you. And, and the I, camera sees it, too. And they, they, if they yeah. like you, True they're yeah. going to feel it. Yeah. True they're going to be true. like, oh, I like that girl better yeah. than the other girl. I've had sex with pillow princesses, girls who don't move. I hate that. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> literally, you're just like, that's what? Like, the strap-on comes in handy. You just beat the fucking I shit was out like, of she was, she was coming, and I was making more noise than her. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Like I'm coming and it's hardcore. so funny because everyone loves that scene too, and I'm just like, <gasps> I I hated filming that yeah. scene. What's I was it? I basically picked the girl up the whole time. We want names, Kenzie. No, I don't talk shit. No. <laughs> shit talking ish. True. I don't bash names. True. Yeah. It happens a lot actually, where girls get paired with a female talent or even a male talent. That they're not vibing on. They come to set. So yeah. these times these guys aren't like shower properly or get a hygiene, Ew, right? What? Yeah. Take a shower. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. A Male shower. performers, yeah. studs, yeah. shower. Because we yeah. look good. I know. Yeah. They and think their nine inch penis is all they need. Good. Before each so you're on set all day, and then right before you go on, it's like, okay, go do girly things. Yeah. And that means uh, like go do guy go things. Friend. Go yeah. also do guy girly things, yeah. d- wow. dude. So we're out, we're douching, we're baby wiping, we're brushing our teeth, and then they sometimes won't. Um I had one bad experience. Experience a couple months ago, and after that, I was like, from then on, I'm, I'm like, no, every, every time wait, wait, I'm, like, you, I'm like, go wash your hands. You yada 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 over the best part. What? <laughs> what was gross? Tell the yeah, what was gross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we do have to wrap every, up. Everything actually, just smelled. Every, unfortunately, just everything smelled. Ew. Breath, balls, dick. Like, I, it was just, it was so horrible. Yeah. And I was the reason I did. And you powered through it. I did, and the reason and I didn't you, was because I was... Girl. That's hard work. Kenzie Yeah, <laughs> and it ended up being a really good scene, too. But the wow. reason I didn't complain was because I was with a performer who was such a well-known performer. Um, I was expecting that she was going to say something, oh, which I'll never do again. Mm. It was a threesome? It was actually a foursome. Oh. But I was like, I'm like, I'm waiting Three for Three girls, to, one you know, guy? Two girls, two guys. Oh. So I'm like... She's gonna say something. She's and then we and then it just never happened. And I'm like, well, at this point, we all smell like him, so oh my God. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> so disgusting. Tell him to take a shower next time. Tell no, him, and I will. Him. Absolutely. Baby wipes over there. Yeah. Go wash your hands. Put it too. in your claws. Yeah. When you book the girls, must shower. It's just oh that's so much yeah. ask. Yeah. No, it's not. I'm just surprised at that. Like you have to get an STD check, but you can't fucking shower. I know. Oh, that's like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> must use God. Old Spice Fiji. But you know, I'm like, that my, I'm, I'm like that in my personal life too, where I'm like, if I'm gonna be with, I'm like, you're, we're going wherever. Like you're washing your hands before we're hooking up. It's yes. just gross. Uh huh. You know, for me, it's the brushing the teeth. Like, yeah, you have a good fucking. Dave brush. Rock was brushing right before we yeah, filmed today. He's got those, those, those the best. He knows. I love those. He knows. Yeah, yeah, clean breath, clean love teeth. Those. It's important, guys. We have the same. Dentist. Can you believe? <laughs> we do. Can you can you believe how fast that went by? Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. We're at forty three now. That was wonderful. Wow. Nice. Yeah, we have Lexi downsstairs. I have to let her up. That's Eighteen funny. missed calls from Lexi. Poor girl. I got you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. gosh, it's dark in this building. Yeah. <laughs> so this was Dave Rock, Nala, our co-host, and hey then Kenzie Ann. Can you tell them your socials, where to find you, your OnlyFans link? Everything is Miss Kenzie Ann. Or yeah, well, Miss Kenzie Ann.com, but Miss Kenzie Ann, M I S S. Thank Ms. you for keeping Ann. one music instead of Kenzie Ann one. Kenzie underscore Ann on TikTok. Yeah, ridiculous. Yes. One. Yes. Fitness one, one and done. It's Ryan Pano. Fitness Nala. The Dave Rock. It's Ryan Pano. Yeah. You Rock. know what? This was a Kenzie meeting of the minds yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times, guys. Good times. This was a fucking fantastic was episode. Wonderful. Dave, I loved having you. Honestly, you're <laughs> welcome here. anytime. Here. Kenzie, Great love insights. to have you back on anytime. I'd love to come Nala, back. My queen. Okay. My angel. <laughs> I'll make it three times like Nala. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And I'm your host, Ryan. This is Pillow Talk. We'll see you next Tuesday. Ciao. See you guys. <laughs>